It looks like Barack Obama is having just as much trouble holding down expenses of family vacations as the expenses of the federal government. It's not really that strange since both costs are covered by the same source, you and me. Take 13-year-old Malia Obama's trip to Mexico last month with a dozen friends and 25 Secret Service agents. Their destination was Oaxaca, a World Heritage Site, where an estimated 77% of the population has some kind of connection with tourism. The city is known for its historic buildings and monuments. You say you've never heard of Malia's trip in the mainstream media? You could have if you were quick, but the White House admits telling news agencies to pull the story. Then in lockstep, the London Telegraph, the Huffington Post, and the Free Republic made it all disappear. If you live in Canada, you can still read about it in the Edmonton Journal. News Radio WTAM 1100 in Cleveland is one of the few American holdouts. Its website does a fantastic job of showing the before and after pictures of the Telegraph, Post, and Free Republic. Supposedly, Obama was concerned that news coverage of his daughter's location would endanger her security. WTAM asks the question, then why send her to a country that the State Department recommends no American travel to? Obama should not mind me telling you about it now, because it's a month later. Yeah, right. This is not the first time something like this has happened. There was a media blackout during a recent White House Halloween extravaganza planned for the Obama children that cost who knows how much. Just look at these pictures. Why, it's the cast of Johnny Depp's version of Alice in Wonderland. And there's Johnny himself as the Mad Hatter. Over the last several years, we've been hearing of conscientious parents who take their children to shelters to help feed the homeless on Thanksgiving or Christmas. It usually has a profound effect. I wonder, what's the effect of unbridled pampering on Malia Obama at taxpayer expense.